Hi folks, let's get our development area ready for our example app. The full source of the app is up on GitHub at https colon forward slash forward slash github.com forward slash dan hyphen wellman forward slash two hyphen do. And that's there for reference purposes, but for better understanding, I'd recommend that you follow along lesson by lesson and build the app up yourself. So we'll be building a simple little to-do app, which we can use to add and remove simple tasks. Nothing too fancy, but plenty to keep us busy. We don't need to worry about a full-on console-based environment, again, because I want to keep things nice and simple and focused on require itself. Although we will be using the console later on when we get to the advanced section of the course, but we'll go through these specifics at that point. So just create a folder somewhere convenient and call it to hyphen do. I've got mine set up on the desktop here. Inside this, we'll need to add a few more folders, one called SRC, one called external, and one called CSS. So I've got these already set up. We should download require itself at this point. So let's head on over to the downloads page at http colon forward slash forward slash requirejs.org forward slash docs forward slash downloads. And we'll grab the latest version, which at the time this course was produced is version 2.1.15. And we can save this in the external folder. There's a couple of other files that we need, an index.html page and some basic CSS styling. Rather than watch me create them now, I'll just show you the code in each file briefly. So here's the index page, as you can see, nice and simple. And just some minimal CSS styling. So let's bring these into our project folder now. Another of the frameworks that we're going to make use of in this course is Knockout.js, which is completely compatible with Require.js. We can use this to bind the views our app needs to simple view models. So let's head on over to the Knockout download page, which is at http colon forward slash forward slash knockoutjs.com forward slash downloads. And we can save this in the external folder as well. And the version of Knockout at the time this course was produced, as you can see, is 3.2.0. We'll be using the excellent Jasmine test framework, so let's also install that. We can grab a copy off of GitHub at https colon forward slash forward slash github.com forward slash pivotal forward slash jasmine forward slash tree forward slash master forward slash dist. And we'll grab the latest version, which at the time this course was produced is version 2.1.1. .1. So this will give us a zip file. So in our project, let's create a test folder. And then we can extract the full contents of the Jasmine zip file to our test folder. So there's a few files here that we won't need. We've already got an SRC folder in our project. So let's delete the example one that comes with Jasmine. And there's a couple of example spec files. We can also get rid of those. We won't be needing those at all. And that should be it for now. We can add more stuff as we need it. So we're all set up now and ready to go for the next lesson. Thanks for watching.